In this video, I will tell you about tests of different compression ratios. What is the right compression ratio for diesel engines when converting them to a gas? What about other engines? What compression ratio should a diesel engine have to be converted to a gas? You would be surprised, but the data in books and studies are contradictory. Let's try to investigate this issue on the basis of new research performed in 2010. A few words about contradictory information. Having already read more than 600 books and hundreds of articles on this subject, I learned the following. 100 years ago, in the heyday of the golden age of wood gas-powered cars, their compression ratio was about 4.5. Back then, they ran on different kinds of liquid fuels like legroin, which could be bought in drugstores. Then the fuel got better, and the compression raised to 5.5 and 6.5, and in the heyday of wood gas-powered cars before World War II, people were very happy when they raised the compression ratio to 8. This was considered a great achievement and allowed to get more energy out of wood gas. Already after World War II, Comrade Yudishkin wrote in his only book on wood gas-powered tractors that the compression ratio should not exceed 8 because detonation would occur. The gas should not contain more than 15% hydrogen at this compression ratio. Therefore, it was not recommended to use wood with humidity below 11.5%, it increased the hydrogen content in the gas with subsequent detonation. But the Soviet Union conducted another study specifically to find out what the maximum maximum compression ratio can be allowed so that hydrogen in generator gas does not detonate in the engine. I posted the text of this study on the channel. It came out that the compression ratio above 14.5 led to detonation. So, the researchers settled on 13.5. The authors explicitly say in the article, according to our opinion, the compression ratio for generator gas should not exceed 14 because of detonation. This corresponds to Soviet studies. But modern authors say that it is possible to raise the compression ratio. There are very few studies on this topic at all. So what do the new foreign studies, performed in 2010, say? They say that the compression ratio can be raised to 18.5, and it is practically proven. Modern natural gas engines, by the way, are made with a compression ratio of 8 to 14 because of detonation. High pressures are required for diesel fuel to ignite from compression, and diesel engines are designed with a compression ratio of 14 to 25. The average is 17 to 18. That's a lot. Wouldn't wood gas detonate? Let's figure it out. Two 20 kilowatts diesel engines with installed spark plugs, to turn them into gas engines, were studied. The compression ratio of one engine was 18.5, and the other was 9.5. The engines were fed with the same wood gas for reasons of clarity. And, attention, it was wood gas with different compositions due to the different humidity of the fuel loaded into the gasifier. In other words, these tests were as close to reality as possible. The engines were equipped with a number of sensors to keep track of all parameters. To raise the compression ratio, either engine pistons with flat heads and upper combustion chambers are increased in size or, if the piston in height cannot be raised, the head is shaved. The engine head gasket thickness is also changed. The researchers did not use special pistons and chambers, just the usual approach. No tricks, everything was standard. The researchers tuned the ignition advance angle very finely, which allowed the engines to operate at the mentioned compression ratios without detonation. But adjusting the angle is not the end of the matter. The researchers did the same thing as the Soviet scientists did. If more air is contained in the gas-air mixture, then detonation can be avoided and flame propagation rate, greatly increased by hydrogen, can be decreased. So they came to a 1.4 gas to air ratio instead of the 1.05 originally specified for the engines or 1.15 adopted in practice for wood gas engines in the USSR. A larger volume of air into the mixture also reduced the amount of nitrogen oxides in the exhaust by three times. It was necessary to reduce the ignition advance angle from 13 to 7 in software. A year later, the authors took the trouble and compared the flame propagation 
speed of local natural gas from the grid with wood gas from firewood. It turned out that their natural gas had a flame speed of 0.32 to 0.33 meters per second at a gas to air ratio of 1.22. The wood gas had a speed of 0.45 at a ratio of 1.05. The ideal speed is 0.35 at a ratio of 1.4. In this case, a compression ratio may reach 18.5. Why does increasing the amount of air in the gas-air mixture remove detonation and allow to increase compression ratio? Wood gas itself has a higher octane number than natural gas because it has ballasted CO2 and nitrogen. These gases prevent hydrogen from accelerating the speed of flame propagation. Hydrogen has five times higher flame propagation speed than natural gas. Ballast gases slow down the speed of the flame front in a cylinder. The incoming air consists of 79% nitrogen, which dampens flame speed and, consequently, detonation. This change in the air-to-gas mixture and increasing the compression ratio to 18.5 allowed increasing the electrical efficiency of the engine by 4%, from 30 to 34%. This information will be helpful for those willing to convert a diesel engine to wood gas. Hear from you.